Greetings everyone, welcome back to Blade Bias, and welcome to my Plastic Balasong Buyer's Guide. Here I have all my Plastic Balasongs, I've kind of become the plastic guy, by no secret, I'm sure there's no secret why that is the case, but uh, people kind of see me as the guy who reviews plastic. I've had two makers specifically tell me that, oh, you're like the plastic guy, so having your feedback would be pretty great. So yeah, I figured I would take all of my experience with all of the best plastic ballast songs that you can buy right now and tell you which ones you should buy or shouldn't buy based on your preferences. Because I can tell you right now that every single one of these is worth the money. Caveat, maybe the cycloid B1, but pretty much everything here is good. It's all preference based. So what kind of person do you have to be to like each one of these ballast songs? Let's find out. I'm going to keep it a bit more structured. We're first going to go over the names of everything. If you're interested in buying any of these, I always get questions for links. Just look up the maker on Instagram. Um, the maker, Zippy Balasong, Flip Forge, Tay Flipper, and uh, Squid Industries. Look them up on Instagram. They'll have links to their websites and all that. You can figure that all out there. So yeah, um, I did get sent a few of these for free, but that does not influence any of my biases on any of these because they are all really, really good. And I don't uh, don't really base any of the ones that I got for free any higher just based on that fact. So let's get organized really quick and let's meet our contestants. And then we'll go through one by one and I'll tell you about each one that you, uh, or what kind of what you would like about each one based on your preferences. So starting off, these are all the current models and these are sort of the models that they replaced. These two are specifically discontinued, and if you want to purchase these two, you will only be able to find them on the secondhand market. The rest of them are technically still for sale, but I have my favorite ones down at the bottom. The edit is getting a refresh. I think I should have a package coming soon on that, hopefully. Uh, but I just prefer the edit light, and I also prefer the Squiddy A over the Squiddy B. But both of these are still available alongside their counterparts. So these two are the only discontinued ones anyway. Let's go over all the names really quick. First off, Zippy Balasong, we have the Cycloid and the Cycloid V2. Flip Forge, we have the Edit and the Edit Light. Tay Flipper, we have the Tay Flipper and the Calico. And Squid Industries, we have the Squiddy B and the Squiddy A. Now let's start off with my least favorite of the bunch, the Cycloid V1. This is a Balasong that I would really only recommend that anyone buy if you can find it for like 20 bucks. And I just... The Cycloid V1 used to be very good back when plastic ballast songs were in their infancy, but now it's just kind of fallen behind the rest. It has very nice feeling bearings, and the weight is okay, but the balance leaves something to be desired. It's a bit more handle bias than I really like, especially in fans, and the weight is just, it's a bit light. It is a bit light, and overall just not my favorite. Although, it is a very comfortable ballast song. Not the most comfortable on this list, but I think that the rounding and the, the blade spine and all that feel just slightly, ever so slightly better than they do on the Cycloid V2. Um, actually, do they? Maybe not, but they're, they're pretty close. So yeah, the Cycloid V2, is, or the Cycloid V1, sorry, is probably the only ballast song on this list that I would probably just recommend to just ignore. Uh, if you want to get a cycloid, again, unless you get one for like $30 in the secondhand market, go for it. But otherwise, I would recommend the cycloid V2 leaps and bounds better. So that segues us nicely into the cycloid V2. What's good about it and what's bad about it? Well, starting off, it runs on tank pins. And while we're talking about pins, let's actually just quickly go over. Each one of the makers uses a different pin system, uh, with the exception if we ignore Squid Industries. We've got tang pins here, no pins here, and zen pins here. Similarly, no pins here, tang pins here, or sorry, zen pins here. But this also uses no pins, so he upgraded from no pins to his tang pins. Um, and that is a pretty great feature of the Cycloid V2. Also, pivot mechanisms. These two run on bearings, and the rest of them run on washers. So just to get that out of the way, there's no bushings or anything like that. There was a bushing plastic ballast song that was attempted at one point but it just wasn't the best and the maker discontinued it uh, pretty quickly. So yeah, let's talk about the Cycloid V2. The Cycloid V2 is the thing that I recommend if you like your weight focused at the end of the handles. 
if you're someone who really likes weight at the end of the handles, get the Cycloid V2. Similarly, if you're really someone who likes bearings and or tang pins, this is the only one on the list that provides tang pins and the only one on the list besides the Cycloid V1 that, uh, that uh, gives bearings, that supplies bearings. So if you're into either of those, the Cycloid V2 is a no-brainer. It's also the most customizable one. This is the one thing on the list that pretty much everyone will be able to agree has a good balance because pretty much everyone will be able to make a balance that they enjoy in some way or another. So it's the safest option, I would say. If you get a Cycloid V2 because you can customize it so much, chances are you will probably make a balance that you like and you'll probably enjoy it quite a bit especially since it's probably one of the most durable on the list in terms of public flipping, besides maybe the Squiddy A, and just is an overall really good flipper with a lot of fun engineering packed into it, which if you want to know more about that, go check out my engineering on the cycloid video. Um, but maybe you don't like weights in the end of the hands. This is, or in the end of the handles. This is not... Uh, the most distributed balisong on the list. It's similar to the Calico. If you like weights in the end of the handles, the Calico might also be your taste. But it doesn't have a lot of distribution. And the Tang Cups are a bit uncomfortable in Chaplin-based tricks, resulting in a pinching sensation maybe about 70 to 80% of the time. So yeah, that's a Cycloid V2. Really, really good, but maybe not perfect for everyone due to the weird weight distribution. Next up, we have the Edit. If you don't like plastic, if you don't like light balisongs, the Edit is the one to get on this list. It's the heaviest, coming in at 3.0 ounces, which I also should mention. Uh, 2.1 ounces, 2.2 to 2.4, I think. 2.65. 3 ounces, 2.4 ounces, 2.4 ounces, 2.6 ounces, 2.5 ounces. So if you're not a fan of light balisongs, the edit is absolutely the one to get. Because this weighs almost as much as some metal balisongs. I've seen some metal balisongs come out in the past few months that have been like 3.0 or 3.2 ounces. Look at the ultralight, which is lighter than this thing. So if you're not a fan of light balisongs, the edit is absolutely the way to go. And the edit also comes with adjustable balances accessible through these screws. So if you don't like the stock balance, which some people might not, but I think the stock balance on the edit is relatively good, um, at least this version that I am using. I'm thinking that the updated version should be a little better, um, but we'll see when I get the, the blade in from Flipforge. So yeah, it is... The heaviest one on the list, it also has a, one of the better weight distributions on the list because there's metal rods throughout both the blade and the handles that make it super well distributed. But it's just an overall fun flipper. And if you're not a fan of 2.5 ounce balisongs, definitely the one to get. Now, if you like the look of the edit, but you think it's a bit heavy, or maybe you just want something that's a little better balanced, the Flipforge Edit Lite is my favorite plastic balisong, bar none. I was so impressed with this thing when I got it out of the box that it has been in my daily carry backpack every single day since. Except for the past week because I've been carrying the cycloid, but it just... It's a balisong that never fails to impress me when I pick it up. For my personal flipping style, it is a masterpiece of both distribution and balance. There is no weight hot spots like there are in the Cycloid or the Calico. It flips really well. It has just enough handle bias to do rollovers, but it's also just neutral enough to fan and choker fan really, really well. And it's all rolled up into a really nice presented package. It's very comfortable. The rounding feels great. The customization that you can do, much like the edit, changing the speed channels and the faces and the texturing and all that is just amazing. And the best part is that this is the cheapest balisong in this entire roundup, coming in at $50 if you just pick handle color and blade color. Now it can go up. You can pay like an extra $10 for the texturing that I have on mine, or you can pay like an extra $5 to get one of the handles be a different color than the other. 
But if you just go base, which is picking the handle color, the blade color, and then all the different things that you can change with the jimping, the speed channels, the faces, all that, $50 flat. The only problem is it takes about a month to ship. So if you are someone who wants a plastic ballast song now, maybe you look elsewhere, but I implore you to maybe just give it a shot. It's so cheap that you might even be able to buy something else on this list to tide you over until you get this thing. Because I just cannot explain how comfortable and how much fun the Edit Light is to flip. I pick this thing over some metal ballast song sometimes to flip. And that is saying so much. So much. So yeah. Just, this is just my favorite one. It's got the best, not maybe not the best distribution or balance, but really damn solid one an overall a plus ballast song maybe actually probably even s tier for the price next up is a ballast song that is very similar to the edit light it is a well distributed well balanced plastic flipper coming in at 2.4 ounces just slightly lighter the tay flipper now unfortunately the tay flipper is discontinued and given everything i just said about the edit light if you can't find one on the secondhand market you could get an edit and get a very similar, if not a little heavier, experience. But the Tay Flipper just has something magical about it. There's no weight hot spots. It flows really well. It feels good in the hands. It's just overall really good. And if you can find one secondhand for maybe 50 bucks, I absolutely recommend it. It held my top spot for plastic ballast songs for a long time. And I still hold it in really high regard being my second place next to the edit light. It's a fantastic flipper. Um, my only gripes with it are the asymmetrical blade design. This side is kind of like chamfered. This side is concave and kind of sharp to act as a bite indicator. But since you can't tell which side of the blade is which if you get the similar colored handles, it can be kind of tough. Sometimes you'll just start chaplaining and you'll be like, ow, that's kind of uncomfortable. So that's a little annoying. And the tape flipper is overall just kind of rough around the edges. The chamfers or the, the inside of the channels are kind of sharp. Um, it's just, it's, it's comfortable. Like you can flip it very well. It's just the roughest around the edges of basically everything on this list. Which, thankfully, Tay has fixed in the Calico. The Calico is a thinner, smaller version of the tape flipper with a way wackier balance, but it feels way more premium. The edges are nice and rounded, it feels comfortable, it's a good weight coming in at 2.4 ounces, but it feels way heavier than it is because, similar to the Cycloid V2, it's got all the weight focused at the end of the handles. And while not like the Cycloid V2, because I can feel a little weight in the rest of the handles, it is still probably the most, the second most um, non-distributed ballast song on the list. All the weight is focused at the ends, and there isn't too much in the middle, which makes for a very interesting balance that hugs your fingers in rollovers and chaplains. Zero-G chaplains specifically are the easiest on any ballast song on the Tay Flipper, or the Calico for me. But that comes at the cost of just being a bit weird. The way that it carries momentum is a bit strange, which some people will like, and some people won't. It's handle bias when you want it to be but it's neutral when you want it to be because it still fans really well. And that just makes for a very strange experience that a lot of people aren't going to be used to. But if the balance speaks to you, this is easily going to be one of the most fun things that you have in your collection. Especially since all of these crazy tricks are very accessible. I learned the zero G, the aerial, the zero G chaplain on this thing because of just how clean it is to zero G Chaplin in the first place on the Calico. It's great. So if you can get past that weird balance, it's amazing. And it has what I think most people would agree is the best sound of any plastic ballast song on the market. The Calico is really, really great. And I, uh, I do recommend it. It's also one of the thinnest. It's got very thin handles compared to the Tay Flipper the edit light. Uh, maybe the cycloid is very similar to it, but still I think the cycloid is a bit thicker in the handles. 
So yeah, if you're someone with maybe smaller hands, this could be great for you. Also, what could be great for you is the Squiddy B. Now the Squiddy B is the other ballad song that I probably wouldn't recommend too much on this list. Because the Squiddy B, while flipping pretty great, and because I have nostalgia since this is my first ever ballad song, it has a good balance, it's fun, it has a good weight. But my biggest gripe with it is that the screws come loose every five seconds. You're going to be tightening the screws on this thing a lot, especially when the Loctite comes out. And that's just not an experience that a lot of people want to have. And everything else on this list, minus the Squiddy A, because I'm sure once my Loctite wears out in the Squiddy A, it'll be the same deal. Everyone else, I don't have to touch the screws on. The screws just kind of stay locked, and it's great, and I love it. So the Squiddy B flips really well, but the tuning is a bit annoying. For the price though, you get a very durable flipper. Even more durable though is the Squiddy A, which comes in a little bit more as a little bit more neutral than the Squiddy B, uh, and way more expensive, coming in at seventy-five dollars, which is a bit expensive for what you get. But what you get is a very competent and durable flipper, capable of eating concrete drops all the live long day because of its amazing material. And at least until my Loctite wears off, I haven't had to tune the screws once. So for the time being, I think it's pretty good. But I think the Squiddies, as far as plastic ballast songs go, are easily the weakest on the list. I would very much so recommend any one of these rather than the Squiddies, just because the Squiddies have kind of fallen behind in terms of price and whatever. But if you're looking for probably the most durable on the list and easily the most quality feel, the best made, the most comfortable, the Squiddy is going to be what you want to go for. So if you don't want the rough 3D printed nature, if you want something a bit more durable, the Squiddy B is just going to crush it. Or sorry, the Squiddy A is just going to crush it. And same with the Squiddy B. So now, final thoughts. What do I think? I think I've given you all some good scenarios for which, one of, which ones of you might like the Cycloid compared to the Tay Flipper compared to the Squiddy A. Squiddy A, you're going to get if you want to flip a lot over concrete because it's easily the most durable on the list. But if you care more about flipping, maybe you want to get a Edit V2. Or maybe if you care about shipping times, then go for a Cycloid V2. Or maybe you just don't like the look of the Cycloid V2. Then the Edit is right for you. So, you know, I think it's, it's amazing. We're in a really good period of plastic ballast songs where none of these are really bad. I still wouldn't recommend the Cycloid V1, but none of them are bad by any means. And all of them are pretty fantastically fun, if you ask me. So yeah, hopefully I've given you enough to chew on. Quickly, the durability scores. I think in terms of most durable to least durable, we have the Squiddy A, then the Cycloid, then the Calico, then the Flip Forge. I'm just concerned about the Flip Forges because every time I drop them on concrete, not every time, but Sometimes it gets little like chips taken out of them. I have a chip here in the blade. I have a chip here on the handle. So these maybe aren't going to be your best concrete flippers. Whereas something like the Squiddy A and the Cycloid, I've been flipping a lot over concrete and it has held up perfectly. Um, and the, the Calico doesn't really go in there because this is very prone to hot um, temperatures. If I ever left the Calico on this windowsill right here, it would probably melt which is not great, but if you live in colder climates, you don't really have to worry about that. So yeah, durability score. All of these are going to hold up to concrete drops, but some of them are going to hold up much better than others. So yeah, that's my plastic list. If you want my personal tier list in terms of first place to third place, my top three, it goes Flip Forge Edit Lite, Tay Flipper, Cycloid V3. And those are my three favorites. Coming in very close behind and tied at number four, are I think the Calico and the Edit Light, the Squiddy A could be fit in there too, but those are just, I just really enjoy them. But as I have said multiple times, you could pick anything on this list and I think you would be very, very happy. So finally, thank you all for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. And if you buy a plastic ballast song and you really enjoy it, be sure to uh, tag me on Instagram in a flipping clip or something and let me know what you think of it. Hopefully this helped. Thank you all for watching this extraordinarily long video. And I will see you all in the next one. Plastic Guy, out.